Welcome to America's Commercial Real Estate Show, your source for intel, forecasts, and strategies. Hello, I'm Michael Ball. This segment is brought to you by ArborCrowd.com. Check them out for commercial real estate crowdfunding, whether you're, uh, if you're an investor or a sponsor. Well, today we're talking about technology. We're calling the show what technology can do for your business. And I think there's a lot of questions around technology today. Which ones are, are right for us? There seems to be a lot of players in the marketplace. You know, which ones are going to make it? Which ones are not going to make it? You know, we certainly don't want to adopt some technology that potentially won't be there down the road, especially seems like all the technology today is subscription based and you're not actually getting the software. So we'll answer a lot of those questions today. Please welcome my first guest. My guest is Michael Beckerman. He is CEO of CRE Tech and he's joining us on Skype and he's on vacation. Where are you today, Michael? <laughs> well, first of all, it's great to be with you, Michael. I don't, I'm in a uh, far off location, hidden destination so people can't find me <laughs> hanging out with my family. Mountains of of northeast Pennsylvania on the New York border. So, ah, but it's great to be Excellent. Very good. Well, Michael, you, you do these uh, events around the country for CRE Tech. Um, and they, so you've got a lot of insight from, from being around, uh, from, from being CEO of CRE Tech and doing these events. Uh, what, what are you getting out of this? You're very much immersed in it. You're part of it. Where are we headed? What's going on with CRE Tech? Thanks, Michael. Well, it's a great question. So I got into the space around 2011, 12, after a long career in public relations side of the commercial real estate industry. And, um, you know, for me, it was about, you know, getting involved in something that was brand new, that was an entirely new sector that I could essentially restart my career. And I felt like technology was going to be eventually a big part of the commercial real estate industry. Um, you know, recognize, obviously, you know this as well as anybody, technology was never really a, a big focus of the commercial real estate industry, not because, you know, they were archaic or anything like that. It's just because the industry essentially worked for decades as it always has. People made tons of money, buildings and cities and communities were built throughout the country successfully. So they never really had to, but things have been changing so rapidly. And this is one of the few industries that really hasn't embraced technology. So when I got in in 2011, I think there was about $30 million total invested in the space. Um, there was probably a dozen startups in the space. Fast forward today, 2018, um, there's over 3,000 startups in the sector, and last year it was about $12.5 billion invested. So wow. it's permeating every single aspect of the industry from office, industrial, multifamily, retail, and hotel hospitality. So it's touching brokers, it's touching developers, it's touching um, the architects, the appraisers, uh, the marketing people. There's not a part of the industry that's not being impacted in some way by commercial real estate technology. So our goal at CRE Tech is to bring technology to the industry. We do it mostly through our events across the country, but we also do it on our website, which is a wonderful place to discover uh, the startups. We have a great directory, as well as we publish news on a daily basis. Yeah, so that, that website is CRETech.com. You know, and, and you think about how technology has come to commercial real estate a little later than a lot of industri industries and for example residential real estate had a lot of technology prior to commercial and I think one of the reasons is commercial real estate might be considered you kind know, of a smaller space uh, than residential everyone has a home right so uh, is there room how much room is there are, are some of these startups that you've seen over the years have they failed and you know w what's going to be in the future for some of these uh, tech companies is there well, that's room great. for them? Right, right, right. It's a great question. So the reason why residential went first mm -hmm. is really because it's a consumer-dominated uh, industry, where and consumers were embracing social media, were embracing mobile uh, first. So the the realtors, 
and uh, the developers had to adapt quick or they were going to get uh, severely impacted as say you know uh, e-commerce came along and impacted retail uh, and eventually really kind of decimated a lot of the retail sector um, the com so on the commercial side it's I think the the largest industry in the world um, and their startups are impacting virtually every part of it we're in this period right now and I just wrote about it on my blog where I think there's a cycle right now that's about to come to an end in about 24 months um, and when I talk about that cycle coming to an end it doesn't mean that there's any great like correction uh, it's not like the stock market where there's crashing and uh, companies start to fold in great numbers it's more just an evolution so we're, we're going from 3,000 startups my friend Steve Weichel of MIT Center for Real Estate calls it the fracking of commercial real estate technology there's a lot of categories there's a lot of startups attacking different parts and pieces of the ecosystem I think what we're going to start to see is a couple things one Startups are going to start to uh, merge, uh, start to form joint ventures and, and work together. We're starting to see that because the, the, the brokers and the developers, if there's too many single point of solutions in the industry. They need to come into one portal and find multiple solutions. So that's definitely happening. The other thing that's happening is developers like a Prologis or a Heinz, uh, Brookfield, they're investing pretty significantly on their own in terms of in technology. So they either are starting their own funds or they're investing in funds like a Fifth Wall or a Camber Creek uh, and others. So they're um, incubating their own technology solutions within their portfolio. And the same thing on the brokerage side. I mean, JLL just, you know, they announced a $100 million fund. CB's investing through Fifth Wall, Cushman through a couple different other uh, ventures, and a lot of them are doing it themselves. So I think once the developers and the brokers start to pick solutions, tech solutions, it'll be very hard for others to get in that have a competing product. So I think that's the cycle that we're in. We're certainly going to see fewer startups, but I don't know that it's this like sort of mass failure. I just think we're in this evolution over the next 24 months in the cycle. Um, but I don't think by any nature it's doom and gloom. I think it's a, it's a positive thing. Money's coming in at record clips. And I think we're still in only the second or third inning in terms of CRE tech. Is there a space, Michael, where there's still some opportunities for tech companies? Are there service areas or technology that users like, like me and, and, and people like me that we still really need? I think there's a lot, Michael. I think one of the things that uh, one of the most exciting trends is the emergence of data becoming uh, really ubiquitous in, in the sector so that, you know, it used to be that data was behind certain paywalls. And I think now it's becoming uh, much more uh, accessible to many parts of the industry. And I think it's in real time. So I think for professionals like yourself that, you know, are dominant in, in certain areas of the business in certain areas of the country like you are, I think you know, you're know you able to access data and information as never before. So I think data is one of the, the largest categories uh, that's growing right now. And I think also, obviously, co-working is, is growing, but I think that is only going to increase. Um, in other parts of the world, co-working is 25% of the office market. I think you're going to start to see that trend accelerate throughout the country as well. I think you're going to also start to see space as a service. So landlords looking at their space and understanding that they have to uh, reorient it to resemble more of a hotel experience for tenants than just you know sign a lease and we'll see you in seven, ten years. So I think I think data, I think co-working, uh, and I think space as a service are some of the more uh, exciting. Uh, trends in the sector. Yeah, I saw a report the other day that uh, uh, millennials would rather have the uh, bathrooms out of order than the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I still need the bathrooms. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah. So what would you leave our audience with, Michael? Uh, 
that we're, we're users of technology. We're buying it, we're using it, we're trying to select what we, what we use or don't use. We're also trying to, like you mentioned, decide, oh, well, do we use it from a vendor or do we try to create it ourselves? What's a tip you'd give us that you're the master of the space of technology? I don't know about it. Thank you, my friend. I don't know about <laughs> that. So what I've been on this sort of mission uh, throughout the country is I, I go around and I speak to anybody that will listen. And I write about it you know, uh, clearly at nauseum, which is that if you're of a certain age, mature like myself, if, you're in, if you've been in the industry for a while, the time to start paying attention to technology is right now right now uh you will be left behind if you're not paying attention so come to an event mine or uh, there's several other good ones out there although i think mine's the best um <laughs> read read some blogs pay attention to the commercial real estate show um pay attention to the news start uh, listening to what your customers are, are doing whether it's on the tenant side or on the landlord side Pay attention, educate yourself, because sooner or later, somebody's going to come along with this sort of tech knowledge that in our industry, and they're going to replace you, and you're going to get left behind. So there's there's really no better time to start paying attention than right now. Pick a few topics that you find of interest, whether it's marketing, whether it's uh, let's say on the industrial front. Pay attention what's happening to say some drone imagery, uh, to what's happening on robotics. And start to get informed. I mean, it's not like they're coming for your job today, but eventually the world's going to be separated. The commercial real estate landscape is going to be separated between those that have a basic, good, healthy understanding of technology and those that don't. And those that don't will left, will get left behind. So my message is pay attention. If you look at what Airbnb, Airbnb did to the hotel sector, they have a higher valuation than most of the hotel companies. They own nothing. If you look at what WeWork has done to the office sector, same thing, $40 billion valuation. They don't own any commercial real estate, not much yet. Right. Um, if you look at Amazon on the retail side, it's coming for every aspect of our industry. There will be one of those for industrial. There will be another one for office. So pay attention, get involved. And I think also there's just tremendous opportunities, as I said, a couple of weeks ago, one of the presentations I was making, I said, listen, if you're, a, a, you're looking for a great job uh, in commercial real estate in the future, start to understand what a data scientist looks like. Start to understand what some of the tools are for marketing in terms of technology. Um, there are wonderful opportunities ahead. You just have to get involved, and there's no better time than today. Well, Michael, great tip. Uh, I agree with you. You've got to be on top of technology. Are you going to get left behind? Great information, Michael. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Michael. Always a pleasure to see you. Appreciate uh, the opportunity and a big fan of the show. Thank you. And, uh, and look, if you haven't been to one of Michael's events, check him out there. Website is CRETech.com. They have the events occasionally in Atlanta. I was involved in one of them, and uh, the information was great. I do recommend it. And Michael's right. You really want to know what technology is, what's coming down the pike, how can you use it, how can you be more valuable to all the people that you serve. So stay with us. We're going to have more on technology. We're going to look at some of the technologies out there, what's new, what's different, and help you stay relevant. Stay with us. I'm Michael Bull. This is America's Commercial Real Estate Show.